Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another video. So, the strongest, most powerful, most busted 7 star in the game is Juggernaut, in my opinion. This guy is just an animal. He is unreal. And you know, it makes sense because Juggernaut in the comics is unstoppable. Um, so, you know, I'm not mad at it. I've been watching the the OG X-Men cartoon and because I want to watch the, you know, the new one that's out, but I never saw the original. So I've been watching that and seeing like Juggernaut in that and seeing like the whole entire X-Men fight him. <laughs> this guy is that powerful. So, you know, I, if 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 Juggernaut had to be the most powerful 7-star in the game, I am mad at it. I think it makes sense because Juggernaut's awesome. And um, I also have this relic right here. So rank 2 Awakened Juggernaut Relic. So that just makes him even crazier so this was just some gameplay that i recorded on my way to the gladiator circuit you know in the victory track after having taken my jugs up to rank two and yeah i think seven star rank two is just the perfect rank for him um you know i think rank three is a little bit of overkill personally um i'm in absolutely no rush to be rank three my jugs you know even though i said i think he's one of the most strongest seven stars in the whole game the most powerful but he's that powerful at rank two, man. Um, so yeah, especially if you got that six star juggernaut relic, man. I just really don't think this guy needs rank three. I will absolutely not be rank three him. Um, I really played this fight bad. This was just a rank one chi. I think this was like one of my first fights using seven star rank two jugs in battlegrounds, and that's definitely something that I need to get better at with, with jugs. You'll probably see it a couple times in this video when I'm just at ten unstoppable and I accidentally break their block. Um, and then, you know, you lose your unstoppable for a while, which sucks. But here, finally popped this, and yeah, I just hit on the second hit. Um, I, I, I could've just dropped that special too immediately, and she would've died. It could've been like a 25 second fight, but I mean, it, it's still all good, you know, 49 seconds, 100% health, and I played that bad. <laughs> that's a good, that's a bad fight. Okay, what do we got next? Okay, up next, we're racing a Cosmic Ghost Rider. He's fighting my Shuri. I am fighting a rank 2 Killmonger here. So, I'm going to start this fight with a Dex to disable the crits. Uh, and then start going in. Trigger his reverberation. There we go. And, yeah, I just want to get to my special 2. Pop it with the Furies. Bait his special first. Alright, here we go. Go in. Boom. 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 No crits, unfortunately. Here, we're going to bait the special 1 so that when I hit him and activate the reverb, you know, it's not too much. Fortunately, we did get hit by one of his uh, his special one little projectiles there, so we did take some damage. Slightly unfortunate. Took some more block damage there, but here, one more special two, end the fight. Yeah, could have been a bit better, but um, you know, not too bad. Uh, almost 50k points, 38 seconds, and it is enough to take the dub here. I think he's going to be coming out of here in like 3, 2, 1... Uh, nope, this was a little early. Should be any second. There we go. Yeah, it was a close match. Um, yeah, we just managed to take take it home, man. Juggernaut. Outspeed and CGR. Alright, next up here we got uh, a Nick Fury. I think I got a couple of these Nick Fury fights. So I just want to show you guys like how reliable this is. So this is the biggest Nick Fury in the game. You know, rank 5, SIG 200, Ascended. A rank 6, SIG 200, Nick Fury. We're going for Jugs. So Juggernaut is definitely one of the best Nick Fury counters. I would say maybe second only behind Danny Moonstar. She's like the only champion that can really outspeed Jugs. Um, and the two Nick Fury fights I'm going to show you are actually slow. Like these are both slow fights. Like right here, you see he's just not throwing his special, really slowing us down. So there I tap my block a few times to get rid of some unstoppable so I can hit his block to try to bait the special. Just annoying. That's wasted, you know, a ton of time. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, boom, look at that. We're already into the second life. My Jugs is not awakened either. If he was, I could have nullified that Fury, you know, gotten some power gain from that. Could probably be at a special two. Probably could have ended the fight already, you know? Um, so again, this is on the slower side for a Jugs versus Nick Fury fight. But, you know, like, for a regular Nick Fury fight, this is a very solid takedown. You know, under a minute, full health. It's pretty good and you know that is something that can easily be replicated pretty much you know every match about a sub minute full health you know if you want to get like a, a 35 second kill on nick fury you know that takes definitely takes some ai cooperation and everything yeah i definitely can't do that every time but like under a minute 50 seconds to 60 seconds i can pretty much guarantee that uh against most nick furies with jugs so 
It's great. Uh, here we have a bishop. I think this is just a rank one bishop, though. So one special two, I know, is just going to destroy this man's entire health pool. Uh, here, throwing some staggers. I think I was going to try to, like, trigger his regen to get some power gain or something. But then I was like, nah, why even bother? Let's just throw this. <laughs> He's just dead. So there's a bishop just getting one tapped by the special two. You know, 24 seconds. Yeah, not too bad. So then here we have another Nick Fury fight. Uh, so we're once again going to be racing a CGR. It's an ascended CGR this time. Same Nick Fury, uh, rank 5, SIG 200, ascended. So we're going to go ahead and jump in with Jugs again. And just do pretty much the same thing. Just to show you, I just want to show two Nick Fury fights just to show, you know, how this is, you know, pretty much a common occurrence for a sub one minute kill with the juggy boy uh so here i like to go for a little heavy attack right there uh to try to bait up the special attack when you knock the opponent down uh when their backs on the wall it definitely increases their chance to throw that special fortunately it didn't work there but we got it baited out and we're making all right time right now that's another thing i've been doing more of when nick fury transitions to that second life he really turtles up so you can kind of just rip a heavy right into uh his block and yeah this fight would have been so fast if i intercepted there but unfortunately i broke his block so now i don't have my unstoppable but here i think i just go for it anyways and it's like almost enough plus then we heal to full we kill him so i think that might have actually even been faster uh i don't know it was pretty much the same but um yeah even messing up there you know i lost my unstoppable still under a minute full health like jugs is just so good for Nick Fury, man. It's crazy. All right, next up here, we have a future Ant-Man. So this is a rank 6, rank 5, 1600, ascended Ant-Man. If I say rank 6, just know I mean rank 5 and ascended. Um, trying to use that term more. It's just, it's easier to say rank 6 opposed to rank 5 and ascended, you know? Uh, so that's what I mean if I say rank 6. But uh, yeah, Juggernaut's pretty good for Fam. Um, you know, with Juggernaut, it's very easy to be intercepting with him. So if Fam does happen to get any armors, you know, it's not too big of an issue to intercept to get them off. Also, you know, if you're running Mystic Dispersion, you can get power when they expire too. So that's really nice. So here, you know, I was trying to bait Fam special two. And he's just being a jerk. So I'm like, you know what? Screw that. We're just going to go for it. Uh, so throw my special two. Doesn't quite kill, but it gets us close. And then one five hit combo. Dude, at the end of that combo, we were doing 25,000 mediums. Like, <laughs> isn't that absurd? Isn't that absurd? This is just regular rank two jugs, no special masteries. That's the kind of undupe, that's the kind of damage rank two jugs is doing, man. Against a rank five or rank six future Ant Man, 31 seconds. It's <laughs> okay. Now we have a couple of Korgs to show you guys, too. So, jugs is super duper good for Korg. So, up first, we have just a rank 2 cork, and then we're going to ramp things up a little bit later with a rank 3 cork. But, uh, yeah, with cork, for Juggernaut versus cork, don't be afraid of hitting into him with a medium at the start. One medium is fine. You're going to take some damage, but you can see I already healed it back because of the Juggernaut Relic. Uh, so start the fight. Don't worry about trying to get the lights off. Juggernaut's light is a, is a little bit short, so it's hard to like punish his heavy with, uh, with, uh, with your light. So yeah, just the first hit to start the combo, you know, just hit him with your medium, take, eat the damage, it's fine, just get this fight going, you're gonna heal it back, even if you don't even heal it back, it's not gonna be that much damage, and you know, you're gonna be able to finish the fight very fast. There, uh, you know, we take a little bit of the crit damage, and unfortunately my special one doesn't kill, but one more combo, and core goes down. So, you know, pretty solid fight, like a minute 20 on the clock, 37 seconds, man, 51,000 points, pretty solid pretty solid so up next i think we have a bullseye and then another cork so this was a rank four bullseye um i've never tried jugs against bullseye before and i just kind of wanted to so i was like you know what let's give this a try you know why not let's just give it a try it's not even like a a, a massive bullseye it's only rank four so let's see what jugs can do so start of the fight it's going okay i uh, bait out that first special all right wait out his uh killer instinct there we go start going in you know bait out i think one more special here i accidentally break his block so i lose all of my unstoppables which is not what i wanted now I'm trying to bait out another special and he's just being super duper passive i'm like man come on take a more damage with the relic i don't think i meant to throw that i think that was just an accidental trigger um you can see with jugs though here if you kind of just idle with him you don't really dash or or block 
he, he'll he start to just run forward and build that unstoppable. So that's what I was doing there. Shout out to Andrew the Rough. He showed me that trick. He's a jugs master. Uh, and then here at the end, you know, look at this. We're just kind of going crazy. <laughs> He's evading, but we're unstoppable. So we just kind of keep countering him. And it was kind of working. I mean, that was not bad. You know, 48,000 points. But fortunately, this guy had a sunspot and just rinsed my bullseye. So that was a big rip. But hey, jugs still did a pretty decent job. So I'm not mad at it. Okay, I think we got Shuri next and then the rank three court yeah this was just a rank two shuri um so going into this fight you know i'm really used to fighting rank three shuris and i knew this was rank two but i was still just you know under the impression of rank three shuri you know requires probably two special twos so in my mind i was thinking all right i'm probably gonna need two special twos in this fight <laughs> that was wrong i only needed one but uh, so this fight could have even been shorter but i i I played it in, in a fashion where I was ready for the special two not to kill. Uh, so I had my striker queued up. I had power built up. I could have built to an, uh, a striker, did a five hit combo, uh, you know, did a special one. It would have been, you know, enough to kill here. So boom, I go for it. I have all that extra power. The striker, it's not needed. She's just dead. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, cool. <laughs> so 34 second fight. Rank two Shuri dead and one special two. You know, not bad. All right, next up, boom, we got this Korg. So this is rank three Sig 40 Korg. And so again, even with a bigger Korg, let's see if I still do that medium to start. I should. Uh, so yeah, dash back and just dash in. Take some damage, but you can see, boom, we heal it all up to full with that Juggernaut Relic with uh, the regen part. That regen, so nice, man. Like, as if Juggernaut needed a regen too. <laughs> He's already so busted. Oh man, I love it. That Juggernaut Relic, dude. So boom, pop a fat special too. And then, boom, get in some combos. Boom, bait this, and we should stick around. Oh, yeah, see, look at that light reach. I got lucky there. His light reach is just doo-doo. So, yeah, just let him hit our block, then do the light counter. Do it again here. Boom, there we go. All right, striker, build to our special two, and this should absolutely end the fight. Boom, boom, bam. Dead rank three Korg in, let's see, what was that? 43 seconds for a rank three core one of the biggest and beefiest defenders in the game man not too bad not too bad jugs is just a freaking animal man all right next up we have a rank six red skull sig 200 so i don't think i've ever fought a red skull with juggernaut before so this is my first time and so i was thinking you know do i want to push him to a special two because then he's going to get an unstoppable buff. And, you know, once that wears off, it's going to give me some Mystic Dispersion. Give me a little power gain. Um, so I was debating if I should do that. Uh, but I was like, no, I'll probably just get hit and then get shocked. So uh, I decided just to stick to special ones. And so, boom, get in a counter attack here. Pop this. Boom, boom, bam. No crits. No crits on that. So it really didn't do a ton of damage. Just throw a little heavy attack after his special. Keep our spacing managed and everything. And you can't auto block our heavy, so I'll get on that. Right here, my striker whiffs, but thankfully it whiffed and it didn't hit his block. <laughs> Otherwise, I think I would have gotten power burned, which would have been really bad. Um, but yeah, just building up. I'm like, all right, this special two should do the job. Let's pop this. And he doesn't die again. Not a single crit once more. Do a full five hit combo. And he doesn't die. Do another five hit combo. Finally, he dies, man. Just the beefiest Red Skull. And I'm pretty sure he beat my pig with Shuri too. And he won that. So, yeah, man, that's a beefy, beefy Red Skull. Uh, next up here, we have a Deathless King Groot. So, it's my first ever time fighting a Deathless King Groot in Battlegrounds Rank 2. And I was like, oh my god, Juggernaut should absolutely rinse this. But, you know, again, I was thinking... Deathless King Groot has, I think, the fourth highest health pool in the game. So I was thinking, like, all right, I'm probably going to need, you know, two special twos to end this fight. We'll see. Look at the animations on that guy. It's so sick. Yeah, all of his furies expire there. Boom, we drop our special two. We don't get any crits. You know, if maybe if I had gotten some crits there, uh, it would have killed. But, yeah, it's all good. So, boom, just going to dash back, do take one block to hit, do a full combo, and then special two. He's so, so dead. If that was like a rank three Death King Groot, that special two probably would have killed him too. Uh, so even if he was like a rank higher, I don't think it would have mattered. 34 seconds, 51,766. You know, pretty good. And it was pretty much after that that I had hit the Gladiator Circuit. Dude, Jugs just put in so much work. Rank two Jugs. Holy crap. And here we got that Sasquatch emote crying. I love that emote. So sick. Got the, some runestones. Very close to getting that 7-star Nightcrawler now, or I am at least. 
But uh, yeah, guys, I was going to go ahead and do it for my Rank 2 Unduped Juggernaut Showcase. This was just, you know, the preliminary Rank 2 Juggernaut video. Just victory track fights. We're definitely, you know, going to put together a massive Juggernaut compilation of GC notes too. Just when the metas benefit him. There'll definitely be more Jugs gameplay and content on the channel in the future so if you guys like what you see with the rank two jugs here drop a like on the video let me know in the comment section do you agree the question of the of today's video is do you agree do you think that juggernaut is the most busted seven star currently in the game and if you disagree let me know who you think is the most busted seven star i'd love to hear that in the comments down below i was gonna go ahead and do it for this video i would really appreciate it. like rating subscribe if you're not already thank you so much for watching peace out